Let's work on four strings, one note each, four note arpeggios. <laughs> major 7, minor 7, dominant, and minor 7 flat 5. A quick refresher would be on these three videos, numbers 57, 58, and 59, where I work on taking the arpeggio on one string, which would be A, C, E, G, for example, four notes per one string, taking it on each string and finding all seven arpeggios. We're in the key of G, by the way, and we're starting on the sixth chord, and we're going in the in fourth. <laughs> which turns out to be the you know uh, autumn leaves. Then I take two strings, and so there's three different ways, different ways to play arpeggios. Like if I played A, C, E, G, A, C, E, G, that's one way to play a four note, two string arpeggio. I can start, um, that's a secondary form. If I start with my first finger, that's the second way I can play it. And if I put three notes on one string, A, C, E, G, that's a third way to play it. Now that's two strings, two strings, two strings, two strings. You work on all of them. Then I worked on, I got a video doing the three strings. One note on the first two strings, A, C, and then two notes, E, G. And then we put uh, two in the middle, so A, C, E, G. And then we put two on the bottom string, so A, C, E, G. And there's three different ways, and you did that on these three, these three, these three, and these three. Well, on four notes per string, if we were to take that further, A, C, and then open E string to G. Okay, now another way, I'd play A, C, E, and then G here. Uh, if I skipped the third string, I'd have A and then C, E, G. That's just too far away, but I'm looking at a C major triad that way. A, C, skip the second string again, E, G. And if I set, skip the second string and play A, C, E, I'd put G here. Let's just do A, C, E, G, four notes per string, man. So I'm going to go, let's do only up. You can you practice them going up all seven arpeggios, then you practice them going all the way back down. A third way, practice them up, coming back down. Then you start on the highest note, you go to the lowest note, you come back up. But we're only going to do only up. Okay, so I go A minor 7, and then the next chord is D7. D, F sharp, A, C. I'm going to go to G major 7, to C major 7, which are great sweeping uh, type of exercises because of the cascading effect, you know. Um, good technique to uh, practice with this one shape, arpeggio. And uh, practice forward and backwards, all kind of exercises. Another video for that kind of thing, but just as a side note, that's nice. For the After the C major 7 arpeggio, we go to the F sharp minor 7 arpeggio. So here, if I did it here, I'd have an open string, F sharp A, C, E. If I did it past, then I'd be, you know, past the 12th fret, I'd do it up there. After that, I have my B7, B, D sharp, F sharp, A, and then our E minor would yield open strings, or down here, um, I'd have E, G, B, D, and then in the exercise. All right, so now I'm going to the second of three exercises to find the seven arpeggios, major seven, minor seven, minor seven, flat five, and dominant on the two inner, on the four inner strings, two through five. Starting on A, C, E, G, I go up a fourth to my dominant of the key of G, which is D7. D, F sharp, A, C, and then I go to our G major seven. G, B, D, F sharp, to my C major 7, and I gotta go past the 12th fret for that C, E, G, B. If I did it open strings, I'd C, E, G, B, okay? And that way I could hit maybe some harmonics, you know? And uh, use a whammy bar and that kind of thing. Um, so you have, after C major 7, we go to F sharp minor 7 flat 5. So I have F sharp A, C, E. Or the A minor seven, uh, A minor uh, with a six in the bass. Okay, A minor six with a you know six in the bass over F sharp, or a D seven no root over E. No, that's be a D nine, wouldn't it? And then you have the B seven arpeggio, which we'd have to go ahead of the twelfth position. B D sharp F sharp A, and then that's going to bring us to our um, E minor 
seventh E G B D and then a, we'll finish it with a cap off with a note E. Now put all the notes on the bass strings with one treble string, right? The bass strings are the three bottom strings of the guitar, but we can call the bottom four bass strings the top four treble strings, you know. And uh, look at it that way also, can't we? So we've got A, C, E with an open string G, or if I'm ahead of the 12th fret, A, C, E, G. And then I'm going to go up a fourth to my D7, D, F sharp, A, C, up a fourth to my G major 7. I'll go ahead and play it above the 12th position, G, B, D, F sharp. And then I'm going to go up a fourth to a C major 7, C, E, G, B. And then I'll go to my F sharp minor 7, flat 5. I'll go ahead of the fretboard, I mean, ahead of the 12th position. F sharp, A, C, E, to our B7, B, D sharp, F sharp, A, and to our E minor 7, E, G, B, D, E. All right, thanks for watching. We worked on um, a lot of arpeggios. How many arpeggios was that? That many? Really? I didn't realize we played that many arpeggios in under 10 minutes. So that's a lot of arpeggio exercises on just those, but man, I'll tell you what, there's more to come uh, when you see what we're going to do with those arpeggios. And uh, all right, I'll see you in the next journey.